I'm Hayish Mandy, or some of you might know me as Amanda. Um, I'm basically kind of starting this series to start telling you guys a little bit about my infertility journey and coming to you guys um, to talk about that because I know a lot of people have these same issues and it sucks. It sucks. It's, it sucks a lot. But how did I come to trying Clomid? Well, um, when my husband and I got married back in November, we decided that we wanted to start trying as soon as possible. Um, just because I especially have always known that I wanted kids and he's always wanted kids and stuff like that. So we just knew it would be something that we were comfortable starting off. Um, but we ran into problems right away. Um, so I did the things too, where I would test my temperature every morning when I wake up. I would, <laughs> I would um, take some ovulation tests here and there, only a few months after trying. Uh, the first couple months I didn't, we just kind of let things go. Um, but I would track my cycles, I'd look at when I was ovulating, we would try around those times. Um, and so seven, seven, eight months later, uh, with still no success, I was like, okay, something here has to be wrong. So I eventually ended up having a gynecologist appointment, just like my annual one. It wasn't like I had specifically called an appointment for just this reason, but I had called, set up an appointment with my gynecologist and I went to the first appointment and I said, look, I have never, or maybe once, got a faint ovulation line, um, but I was never able to get a, you are definitely ovulating line um, for my ovulation tests. My husband and I have been trying for seven, eight months now and we haven't had any results so far. And so she said, all right, yeah, sounds like you're not ovulating. <laughs> and I was like, okay, cool. Uh, what does that mean? Does that mean I can't have kids? And she's like, no, no, no. You just, um, we're just gonna have to give you a couple things to try and help you out a little bit. She's like, you may ovulate, you just maybe don't ovulate frequently, but what we have to do is get some blood work done and we'll be able to see what's going on. Ryan, no. Go sit. Lay down. Come on. You need to lay down. If you're gonna be here, you need to lay down. <laughs> Raya, no, don't lick my face. <laughs> Raya. Yeah, go deal with yourself for a second. I just, I just let me, can I do this? No, no. <laughs> no. Okay, can you lay down? Come on, lay down. Do something. <laughs> All right. So my then doctor told me that I needed to go get blood work done and so I listened to her and I went and got blood work on my on the 21st day of my cycle which is when they wanted me to go so this uh, past July 1st I believe is when I went. Um, it took, I went and got, okay, so I went and got my blood work done and then I went straight to vacation because that's what we were doing. And so about a week later because I had just got back from vacation, by the time that they called me and said that my blood work was in and that my results were in. And I was nervous, I was incredibly nervous because I knew it wasn't good news because they didn't start off by saying, yeah, everything looks regular, everything's fine. She started listing things off to me. She said, this looks good, this looks good. But one thing that we did notice is that your progesterone count is pretty low. And I was like, oh, okay. She's like, typically you want your score to be around a 10 to show that you've been ovulating, that you have ovulated in the past. She's like, we like to see a 10 or higher or even, you know, something around that level, but I was scoring a 1.5. So I basically am not ovulating at all. Um, or if I do, it's very infrequent. And when you're trying to get pregnant, you need to ovulate to get pregnant. Like it's, it's really important. So. She said, uh, if you would like to start Clomid, we can go ahead and do that. So why Clomid? Why did I choose Clomid to go on Clomid um, before some estrogen supplements and stuff like that? It just happened to be what my doctors had talked to me about and what I had heard about. And so when we were brainstorming ways and things to try, things to do, that was one of the first suggestions she said. And she's like, by the way, it does have some side effects and you do have a risk of uh, multiples and stuff like that is that stuff that you are okay with. And if I get twins out of a pregnancy, I'll be very tired all the time, but it will be a welcome surprise and I wouldn't mind that. 
So having twins is not a downside for me, it would be like a plus, though it'd be a little bit of a rough pregnancy. <laughs> but I'm, but I'd be cool, I'd be cool with it, I'd be happy with it. So I had no worries about it. If it happens like that, that'd be fun. Um, I just hope it works all together. So she got me set up and we got me started on Clomid. I got my prescription and then she said to start it on day three of my period cycle, or day three of my cycle. And so that's what I did. Um, like I said, I was really nervous because I heard a lot of women experience side effects. Now some side effects include migraines, nausea, uh, blurred vision, you can get, oh my gosh. One thing that I had heard about too a lot was something called the Clomid crazies, or, uh, or at least that's what I've heard it called. Um, so some women experience extreme emotional changes because obviously what Clomid does is it blocks your brain from thinking that you're producing any estrogen at all. So your body works to produce double the amount of estrogen to try and kick you back into gear, which is why it helps you ovulate. It's because it's putting a block in your brain to make you think you're not producing any estrogen and so your body will produce even more estrogen. So that's kind of like the science behind Clomid a little bit. I'm not a scientist, don't listen to me exactly on that. Um, but after I heard about all the side effects and stuff like that, I was super scared. I had no idea what to expect. I didn't know how my body was going to react to this pill. Um, days leading up to me trying Clomid, I was watching so many videos like this of other women's experiences and stuff like that and how they deal with it and what their side effects were. And I'm sorry, I'm almost done. <laughs> so I was a mess. I was talking to my husband. I'm like, okay, if... I get the Clomid crazies. It's not me that hates you, it's the pill that hates you. And I'm sorry and do not blame me. And so finally, day one came around. First trial, first time, my session with Clomid. So when I started Clomid, what my doctor started me off with was the 50 milligram um, dosage. And I think sometimes they'll bump it up a little bit as you use it and if it does not work for you and stuff like that. Um, the highest dosage that I've ever heard of was 150 milligrams um, so that was my experience I only had the 50 milligram dosage um, you take it for five days starting on day three of your cycle and I took my pill every day at noon with lunch whether I had just ate or I was currently eating I would always make sure I took it with some water and some lunch and I I think I even took it with a pop the one day. I don't know if it matters, but that was, that's what I did. So if you wanna try it like that and hope that you don't get symptoms too, you can too. I also heard of other women taking it at night before they went to bed. So if they are somebody that would take, or that would have side effects, um, they could potentially sleep through it. So I think just try it out, see how it works for you. Um, they do recommend you try and take it at the same time every day, which is why I set an alarm and took it at noon for myself every day. But um, try, if you, if you know you are a very sensitive person to side effects with pills, maybe try and take it at night so you can sleep through the stuff. Um, but yeah, I took it at noon every day with some lunch. I would always make sure I took it on a full stomach or a stomach that was currently being filled up because um, I didn't want nauseous or anything like that. My side effects for Clomid the entire time was nothing nothing big i never got nauseous i never got migraines i didn't have any blurred vision now when it comes to my emotional state if anything my husband said i was even instead of being aggravated at their husbands which some women feel i felt even more like lovey wanting to be cuddled touched petted all the time i just wanted my husband around me and so he said if anything i became more lovey when i was on it but you know that's like my love language anyways so is it just that i wanted some more attention or hi buddy <laughs> or was it the clomid i don't know um another symptom that is kind of i maybe it goes with clomid my experience i had to pee like a racehorse i was peeing like a racehorse the entire week i was trying clomid now that could just that could just be because i was drinking tons more water or that, um, I don't know, but I, I had to pee constantly, like, darn it, Raya. <laughs> Raya, <laughs> like I have to put you away for videos in the future. Come on, 
should grab. Why do you always find, you always find your noisiest toys. Nah, I'll give me here. These nylon bricks. She loves to chew on them, but they're really loud <laughs> to chew on. At least when you're trying to make a video, it's a really annoying, crunchy sound. I don't wanna, Ryan, go lay down. Stop, lay down. Yeah. Yeah, it may be because I was drinking more water, but yeah, I had to pee. I had to pee constantly and I had to pee a lot. Like every half hour to an hour on the dot, pretty much, I had to go to the bathroom. And it wasn't like I could ignore it either. Like I had to go. So maybe that was the Clomid, maybe it was just me. I don't know. <laughs> um, and then on occasion, every now and then, I would feel a little bit sleepy, but you know, I also could be like, was I just being lazy that week? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I could work while I was on Clomid. I was happy when I was on Clomid. Um, and now I just get to wait and see if it worked or not for me. So I'm very relieved that my experience of Clomid was not hell like other women's experiences. Um, I don't know, I don't know it's, if it's necessarily because I am a bigger woman. Like I am definitely a plus size to overweight kind of a woman. So maybe, um, my body can just handle the pill more, I don't know. But, but yeah, I never had any side effects and I'm very grateful. Um, and then I guess in the next video, I'll be updating you guys on if Cycle One worked or not. And if not, then um, moving on to month two and seeing how it goes. Now you can only try Clomid, I think I heard for five or six months before they tell you to maybe try something else. So I am very hopeful. I really hope it works for us. Um, but if it doesn't, I'm going to stay positive and we're going to keep trying. So thank you guys so much. And I hope this brings you guys a lot of comfort, um, to know that I didn't have many symptoms in hopes that you won't have symptoms either. So I don't know. We'll see you guys later. Thank you. Bye.